Okay, this is my pitch presentation. There we go. Uh, what skills have you developed in your second year? So this year I have developed my skills with Unity and C++. With these skills I was able to make multiple games that use different mechanics such as my zombie FPS or the tower, tower defense games which were completely different games. The zombie FPS was obviously first person and it was, you were trying to, to shoot as many zombies as possible and the tower defense game was more of a, a slower um, wave of enemies but they were similar I suppose. Uh, I have also developed my animation side of game design with a sprite and blender by researching into new looks that I can try and create and implement into my games. Which skills w do you wish to develop further? I would like to develop my C++ abilities because I feel like my games are good, however they still need to improve and using Unity and coding I believe I will pick up new skills along the way. I would like to improve my Blender models as well. Currently I haven't used my own model in a game that I've made in Unity, uh, nor have I rigged my own character model uh, for a character skeleton, which I would like to do this project. So what would you like to make? For the FMP, I would like to make a robot game where the main task for the player is to destroy as much as possible within a time limit. Theme decade will be that the player is destroying different time zones. However, uh, making too many different levels might take a might t might take a bit too long. So, uh, I will try and do as many as I can within the time limit. Uh, in the game, the robot will have different power ups and abilities that let the player feel like they are powerful. What role will you be undertaking over the course of the project? My main role, since that is what I want to develop, will be making the main game mechanics. However, I would like, as a secondary task, to make my own 3D models that I can use in the game for characters and structures. What will be the end result slash what would it look like? So, at the end of the product uh, project, I would like a game to have working menus, character rigs, uh, structures, AI. Hopefully I will have made the textures and UI to make the game sound good and play with an option for a controller, which is a new thing that I would like to try this project. How could you describe your project in one single sentence? Uh, developing my coding skills with new abilities and upgrades. So that's a mix of what I want to do and kind of how I'm going to do it. What... What do you hope to learn by completing this project? From this project, I would like to improve my C++ skills so that I can make different gen uh, genre of games. From this project, I'll hopefully get a fully working game. Why is this important to you? Uh, because I want to improve my Unity coding to add a uh, to my personal skills. Since I'm going to university, this will be a good project to have done before I leave on this second year of the course. Also, I'd like to build a game like this because I would like to put this on my portfolio since this will be the longest time I've spent on a game in Unity. So I'll be able to show off what I can make and what I can learn from the start until the end of this project uh, within Unity and Blender. So this will be my last project at college, so I'd like to show what I've learned over the three years. Uh, not as much with Unity, I've only started using Unity in the last year, year-ish. However, uh, some aspects of game design will move over, uh, and it's, I suppose the theory of game design I will still have picked up and use in this project. How will you get feedback on your project? I will record game tests, which can I can then look back on and evaluate what the player had difficulty with and what I need to change, as well as getting the people who uh, did the game test to fill out a form so I can make sure that I get enough feedback documented on Wix. How often will you evaluate your progress? I would like to evaluate my work at the end of every week just because I know that then I can show what I have done in each week. When I look back at the project, I can see, okay, I did the research this week and the context this week. So this will also help when uh, by doing it at the end of the, end of the week because then I will have a clear task that I can come, to, come back to next week because I know exactly what I've got to do. 
If I've got a problem that I can't fix by the end of the week, I can then come in next week and know exactly what I do. Don't waste any time, etc. So at the end of every week, I'm uh, sorry, what format will you use to reflect on your work? At the end of every week, I will be recording footage of the game at its current stage to show what I've added to the game. This will help with problem solving tasks too. So I'll be able to show visual e evidence of these problems occurring and then later on they'll be hopefully fixed. So to go along with the videos of game test, I will analyze them and show what needs to be added, taken away or just changed so that I can clearly show what I have done in this FMP uh, improvement. To go along with the videos of game test, I will analyze them and show what needs to be added. Uh, lastly, I would like to have an Excel uh, checklist going over all the parts of the game that I want to make so then I can update them each week. I've been doing that at the moment. Uh, I can update, update them each week showing what I've done at what point and then as well it will work out to kind of help me uh, figure out what I've got to do now. What will you need to find out in order to complete this project? There will be lots of different things I research, but these are the main ones that I would like to research into. So I'd like to find out how to use a controller in Unity. I'm not sure if it's too difficult or maybe it's something Unity uh, supports, but I'd like to try and find out how to do it. Uh, how to make and rig a character uh, that I've made in Blender. Uh, how I can add different power-ups such as a grenade or a laser. Uh, and where I'll find this information out would most likely be um, looking at other game examples such as uh, like YouTube, looking at uh, different games that have those features that I'd like to try and find out or watching videos on Unity, uh, kind of showing people that have done tutorials. Uh, another way I could do it would be looking on the Unity API, which shows the codes that people have uh, used to get to that spot. So ensure you have considered inspirational, analytical and technical research topics. I will also look at other games that are similar or have similar aspects to that so that I can uh, add that to my project. I'll then record gameplay and find out, as I just said, uh, how they have done that what resources you will need to complete this project. I will need access to a computer, keyboard, mouse, as well as the software that I will use to make the, the game, such as Blender, Unity, PowerPoint, Word, Google Chrome. So PowerPoint, Word, and Google Chrome will be more the uh, tech side, and obviously Blender and Unity will be the main two that I use to make the game. So show evidence that he, you have access to each resource, uh, which, uh, so I've used a computer with mouse and keyboard to to make this PowerPoint and the rest I have a video here should hopefully be coming up now so this is my college uh, PC I've got currently Blender open one of the projects I've been working on and now have my project proposal in uh, Word This is the PowerPoint I'm currently working on. And my Wix page, which uses Google Chrome. That is the end of that. Okay. So, list a minimum of eight stages necessary to complete your project and when they will be finished. So context, I hope to get finished by the 20th of March, uh, which will be the kind of why and what uh, I suppose that is this PowerPoint, uh, but that will be the why and what uh, I want to make this project. Research will be 3rd of April, which will be going into the uh, different things I want to learn and try and improve on my games, try and find out how I can do that. Experimentation will be 20th of May, so I'll take those research things and try and experiment with them before I put them in the, in the game, which will be later on. By doing this, then I can figure out what I want to have and what won't work, sort of thing. So start development I want to do by the 27th of May. Uh, I'd like to kind of start with the white box game. So a simple no animations, just get game working, try and get the main mechanics working. 
which then will lead into the focus uh, focus on the development. So 5th of June, I'd like to just focus only on the development. Obviously, I've got uh, all my recordings and stuff like that still going on. Uh, that'll be the 5th of June. End development by the 11th of June. Uh, finish off all of the game aspects. So hopefully, I'll be I'll have the animation done uh, and bits like that. The evaluation, I want to get done by the 18th of June and I'd like to submit the project at the 1st of July. So how will you present the project once it's done? Uh, I have a game open with a controller for people to come and play at the end of the year. Uh, we did this last year and I think it worked out quite well, so I should do it again this year. Which platform will you use to release it? I will upload the game to Itch and Unity Store, however, I will still have the op uh, local application or the file if I need to play it uh, whenever. So, plan B. If the college has to close down, how will you complete the FMP before the 5th of June? Uh, work from home, normal hours of college on my home computer that I'm currently using to record this video. Uh, what planning tools will you do to organize yourself at home? I will use Excel sheets that I can tick off things that I need to do, as well as get to the practical side. Uh, I will be recording game tests. What software slash hardware do you have access at home? I have a computer that can run Blender, Unity, I have PowerPoint, Word, and Google. Have you checked that you can access Teams at home? Yes, I have Teams on my computer and I have it on my phone, which is really good for notifications. That is the end of my presentation. Hopefully, I apologize for the time, but hopefully that's okay.